All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Windows 10 Microsoft Translator app. Obviously, within translate.it or translator.microsoft.com, you can go here to the apps option and see all the different downloads that are available to you for the Microsoft Translator app. Remember, you can also use this just through the browser. You can click here on conversation and start up a conversation right there. And you also always have the text option right here where you can copy and paste in text or just type it in. But for this one, well, like I said, we'll talk about the Windows 10 app and here's what it looks like. And here's just a few features that they show you at the very beginning when you first get the app installed. We're gonna go ahead and turn this little thing off so it doesn't show up again. And you come into the Windows 10 app and it looks just like this. So let's say that you're working in OneNote and your teacher has given you some text. You need to translate this text into another language. So I'm just going to highlight it. Select Control C to copy it. Come back into the app. I'm going to drop that in right here. Just Control V for paste. And then I can tell what language that I want it to translate to. For the Windows 10 app, you have these options right now. And you notice I didn't even have to press the translate option. It already went ahead and put it here. Now, another nice feature is you still have the option to listen to that. Mejor que un documento en un recurso compartido de archivo. So that's just one quick, easy way for you to be able to use the text option. Do notice you have 10,000 character limits, so you're not going to be able to import, you know, pages and pages of stuff. Now, we also have the conversation piece that's the same thing or similar to what's in the online version. You can look at the other video for the description of how that works. But essentially, all I have to do is click on this icon right here. Go ahead and give the permissions to let this use your microphone. And it's now reading or listening to what I'm trying to do. And you can see that it's going to do this in real time and it will adjust the text as we go. The image option, we can translate an image so we could take a picture of a uh, document that we have already. We click on open. We go find that image wherever it happens to be. We say open, and it's going to take that text and translate it for us. And so if you have a touchscreen device, you can go ahead and use the inking feature. You can write right on your screen, and it'll translate that for you as well. Now, your other options here within the app, you've got your history, so you can see other things that you've done throughout the day. You can either join or start a conversation, then you can interact with that, just like the other video that's linked in this uh, video description below. It will show you how you can do that between a web browser, this app, or any other app from any other phone or tablet. And then you have your phrase book that I mentioned earlier. Under general settings, you do have an option for profanity. You can change up some of the common uh, dialect options, your font sizes, whether or not you have a male or a female voice. If you don't find a language that is what you're really trying to do, you might look through this list and see, but this is the full list of what's available right now within the Windows 10 translation tool. Thanks a lot.